In this video, I wanted to describe logical systems, what a logical system is. The reason that it is important to understand what a logical system is, is because a finance report is a logical system, and I'm going to describe that, a finance report, in terms of a logical system, so I have to describe what a logical system is first. So first, what is a system? Okay, a system is a cohesive conglomeration of interrelated and interdependent parts that is either natural or man-made. So, um, there's a lot of information about systems, but there's some, I have a link to uh, some information on system theory and a very good video, about 20 minute video um, that Deming created that explains systems. So uh, if you need to know more, um, just check out those links. Uh, logic is thinking according to a set of consistent and coherent rules. You, a theory describes the world, tries to describe the principles by which the world operates. A theory can be right, can be wrong, but the point is to get at the essence of the system that you're trying to describe. You combine these things together and you have the notion of a logical system or a logical theory or a formal theory or an axiomatic system or a conceptual model. They're all basically very similar things. And the reason you create a logical system is because it enables a community of stakeholders trying to achieve a specific goal or objective or a range of goals or objectives to agree on important common models, structures, statements for capturing meaning or representing a shared understanding of and knowledge in some universe of discourse. So financial reporting is a universe of discourse. Okay. So logical theory is a set of models that are consistent with, uh, uh, that are permissible per the logical theory. A model is a set of structures. A model is permissible interpretation of a theory. A structure is a set of statements which describes the associations and assertions of the structure. So a, a structure basically provides context. So all these things will make sense in a little bit here. So just bear in mind that I'm just trying to show you these um, building blocks. Um, a statement is a proposition, claim, assertion, belief, idea, or fact about or related to some universe of discourse to which the logical theory relates. There are four broad types of statements. Terms, associations, assertions or rules, and facts. Okay, terms are statements that define ideas used by the logical theory. There are two types of terms, simple, simple terms and functional terms. So an example of a, some simple terms are assets, liabilities, and equity. A functional term is um, something like balance sheet or income statement. Basically, those are structures. Associations are statements that describe permissible interrelationships between terms. Relationships. Uh, so, assets is part of the balance sheet, or operating expense is a type of expense, or assets equals liabilities plus equity, or assets is a debit and it is as of a specific point in time. Um, there are three general types of types of associations. Uh, something is uh, a type of something else. Something has um, a part or something is a property of something else. Okay, an assertion is basically a rule. Um, it's, 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 uh, it, it specifies a uh, permissible manipulation of a structure within a model for a theory. So basically assertions 
tend to drive expectations. So for example, assets equals liabilities plus equity is an assertion. So there are three general types of assertions. Axioms, which are basically statements that no one would disagree with. Theorems, which are basically if-then statements. And restrictions um, that some authority, you know, they uh, you need to operate within certain constraints or limitations or some range of value. Those are the three types of assertions. Okay, fact is a statement about the numbers of words that are provided by a, an economic entity within a financial report. So, for example, um, assets for the consolidated legal entity Microsoft as of June 20th, 2017 was... 241 billion, 86 million expressed in US dollars rounded to the nearest million dollars. So when you put all these things together, you put all these statements together, if there are no contradictions in the statements that are made, then the logical system is consistent. Um, the, the notions of precision and coverage are important because if the system describes the wrong thing, it doesn't describe reality, then the system is not precise. If you leave out something from the system, then you, the system does not have good coverage and there could be a flaw in the system and you don't realize that there's a flaw in the system. But if you put all these pieces together and the system is consistent it has precision and it has good coverage, then you can have a properly functioning logical system. So again, a financial report is a logical system. It represents the economic phenomena in words and numbers. A financial report is the faithful representation of a set of claims made by an economic entity about the financial position and financial performance of an economic entity. Okay. Financial reports are not arbitrary, they're not random, they're not illogical. So here is a very, very basic example of the system. Every accountant understands the accounting equation. Okay, In that accounting equation, which is a system, you have three simple terms, assets, liabilities, and equity. You have one functional term balance sheet. You have three associations. Assets are part of the balance sheet. Liabilities are part of the balance sheet. Equity is part of the balance sheet. Um, you have one structure, as we said before, the fu functional term um, balance sheet defines that, defines the structure. And you have one assertion. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. And then you have, in this case, we have three facts assets of 5,000, liabilities of 1,000, and equity of 4,000. And this makes up the logical system. The fundamental basis for what I'm describing is not something that I made up. It's based on systems theory, set theory, graph theory, logic, logical theory, model theory and in I'm also adding a, a specific worldview that is the best practice worldview to make the system operate as safely and reliable as possible. So I'm not going to get into these details but if you want to look up the background you can read all this stuff um, but basically that is a description of a logical system. I did it this is very basic I'm going to go through this multiple additional times in future videos but this will get you started in understanding logical systems.